Today we are going to take a look at how we can use Lattice Deformer inside of Maya and how this can be helpful when it comes to creating a soft poly model or you can say a pretty complex structure when you can't move your object in certain direction. So let's see how we can use this. Now I'm going to start off by taking a simple sphere and let's take a Lattice Deformer. Now go to Deform and here you will see Lattice Deformer. Click on the Lattice and instantly you have a cage around your object. Now I'm going to turn off the grid since it's getting in the way. Now, as you can see, we have a small cube around it, uh, kind of like a cage. And uh, on the right side in the attribute menu, you can see we have number of divisions. So I'm going to increase the number of divisions to five. So now we have something like this. And uh, maybe I'll keep this to five as well. All right. And I'm going to make the U division to five as well. So it's completely even. Now. If I model, for instance, for an example, if I take another sphere and move it around here, and let's say I want to deform this sphere to something pretty interesting. Let's say I select some vertex and move this. And as you can see, we have something like this, right? If I press three, we get a weird shape. Now, even if I take the simple vertex and go into the soft selection mode and try to bring down the brush, I can move it little bit but not exactly what I'm looking for but when I do this from uh, creating a soft brush when I move this shape I'm completely losing the originality of my primitive now I can't go back unless and until I do have the undo option available but after a certain time the undo option disappears because you have too many process going on so to prevent this what we can do is we can go to our object and select a lattice deformer and now if i select my lattice deformer and go into lattice point and let's say i select some of these points and move them around as you can see it's deforming my primitive as well i can simply go out of my soft selection mode and it will still try to keep the shape as soft as possible so it's better to always when you're working with lattice deformer try going into soft brush uh, simply hit B on your keyboard and you'll get this kind of like gradient look that means your soft brush is turned on or you can also click on your uh, tools and here you will see a couple of options and you will see soft selection right here and here you can turn it on so I'm going to close this now and let's see how we can do this so I'm just going to randomly deform my object to something like this and now let's say somehow I messed up my shape and now I can simply go back and delete the lattice deformer and my shape my primitive is back to normal now this is the good side of your deformers that it is completely procedural it can all you can always go back one step two step or how much you want because instead of completely going on a destructive way and changing the original shape of your primitive we can go from a procedural way to save much time or you can say a non-destructive method now i can undo this but what if i don't have the undo i can't do anything so that's why sometimes creating a procedural system for your environment is pretty good so here i can simply go back and change anything i want and when i'm done I can simply select my polygon and I can simply delete the history and get rid of the lattice deformer if I'm satisfied with my shape. But let's say if I'm not satisfied, I can simply select the lattice deformer and delete it. So uh, let's try it with a different shape. For example, we have a super ellipse here and I can go to the deform and select a lattice. And again, I'm going to select a five division and it totally depends if you have a more complex structure, you can increase the subdivisions to something like this something like 10 so now you have even more uh, control on your obviously you have large amount of points to deform but you get more control out of it so I can simply move them around more softly and the way I want right so I think this is pretty nice how you can keep your shapes aligned so once I'm done with this and I'm pretty satisfied or I can keep the lattice deformer it totally depends on me uh, if you want to get rid of your lattice deformer and if you're not happy with your primitive or the shape you have given to your object you can simply delete it and there you go
So it's always nice to use a procedural method when you're creating anything. So you have a safe site to work on. Now let's look at another features we have with the Lattice Deformer. And let's say if I create something like this and uh, I will try to manipulate this. All right. And let's, I will try to create some different kind of thing. Okay, so let's say I have a simple cage system like this. I've, I've set up my lattice deformer and I have deformed my object, but let's say I'm not satisfied. Thing is, uh, the lattice deformer only works if the primitives are in, in the cage. Now, if the primitive or the model is not inside the cage, lattice deformer will not work. Now, what I mean by this is if I move this out of my lattice deformer, you can see it's not affecting my lattice deformer at all. It's not uh, deforming the shape at all so the object to work on the lattice or you can say the deformation it has to be inside the cage now as you can see you get swirly kind of animation going on and if i move this out of the way again the cage is not affecting at all so that means i can get rid of this i can go to the deform and keep the lattice deformer and let's say if i want a certain type of shape and i can move this around and i can make this smaller so i have kind of details like this and when I, I can basically keep a certain area of lattice deformers where I want to see my shapes and when I'm done looking at my shapes or I'm not happy I can simply move them away and now by this way I have a complete control on my primitives and as you can see it's really and you can kind of pretty much animate this if you want I mean you can get kind of funky animation out of this so this way lattice deformer can help you create even better structures so when you're working with different types of shapes and if they are pretty microscopic not microscopic pretty small to model you can use lattice deformer to just gradually move them or gradually kind of model them something like this So now, as you can see, since we don't have any subdivision in the height, this is not actually deforming that well. So I can increase the number of subdivision in the height and instantly, as you can see, I have the deformation going on. Now, if you have more subdivisions on your polygons, it will work even better. If you have less, less subdivision, it will kind of work uh, weirdly, but yes, you'll get the effect. So I can move this out of the way and now I have my shapes comes back. Now let's look at another example of lattice deformer. I can scale this up and let's bring this right about there and I'm going to increase the subdivisions on this. Let's make it 30, something like this. And now what I can do is go to deformer, put on a lattice deformer on this and let's increase this to somewhere like 20 and this will be 20 as well. Uh, let's make this and this 30 now I can select my lattice deformer and I can actually this is my Polygon so when you have trouble selecting your lattice deformer You can simply go to your outliner and go to the lattice point now here I can use this lattice deformer to kind of create a certain type of terrain out of this where I have kind of small mountains going on and I will try to just manipulate these points to create a simple terrain looking scene and let's bring this down let's bring this down i'm just trying to create the randomization and let's bring this up so now when i'm you can also select this and get rid of this you can simply delete from here or you can also get rid of the history and it will go away so now i have a simple terrain scene i can use this to create a simple scene out of this and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so enjoy creating different kinds of stay shapes and structures out of this and lattice deformers are pretty great to create certain kinds of shape when you are limited with your polygons so anyways i hope you like the video i hope it was helpful again thank you for watching